everybody, this is Ben. Welcome back to the Mile Shop. Uh, today, we're going to basically be doing the gun show uh, for the USS Arizona. Um, this whole episode is just going to focus on all four main turrets. And the only reason I'm doing a special episode just on the four turrets is each one is completely different. And so, as a result, well, I guess not completely different, but really close. So anyway, as a result, um, we're just going to take a look at the build of each one. Uh, so the design for the Arizona's guns, these are 14 inch guns, originally started around 1910 and uh, I believe the Arizona's guns were assembled um, in the New York Naval Yard in Brooklyn, New York where the ship was put together. Each one of these guns weighed about 140,670 pounds and they were the first uh, ones that were made for the 14 inch guns when they were designed Originally, we were put on the uh, USS Texas and the New York, but then they carried over the design um, and, and installed them on the Arizona. They're numbered one through four from front to back, and when they were originally installed, they had the ability to elevate to 15 degrees up, uh, but they couldn't elevate independently, which I thought was kind of strange, but, but that's all right. Uh, with that setup, they had a maximum range of 21,000 yards, which basically works out to 11. 0.93 miles. They had 100 shells for each gun, uh, so you get 1,200 rounds on board the Arizona. And later on, after the modernization, which is the model build that we're depicting, uh, they were able to get the guns to elevate up to 30 degrees, which gave it a range of 36,000 yards, which works out to about 20.45 miles, which is really far. They also re, uh, reinforced the inside of the barrels and made it possible for it to fire a 1500 pound projectile. So that's pretty cool. Um, so after Pearl Harbor, what they were able to do, the aft gun turrets were um, pretty much undamaged and sticking out of the water and were the easiest ones to recover. So they pulled them out and uh, the number three turret, I believe, ended up at the United States Coastal Art Artillery Corps, uh, the Arizona Battery at the Kahi Point on um, Oahu, but I don't think they actually ever finished putting that together. And then uh, the other one ended up at Battery, Pennsylvania, um, Mokapu Peninsula. And that gun actually did fire uh, during a training exercise. And the forward guns were the damage the worst, and they got pulled out later on in the war, and they had to be straightened out and, and fixed. And what they did with them is install them on the uh, USS Nevada battleship. And those guns did end up firing on the islands of Okinawa and Iwo Jima uh, during World War II. So they made a big comeback. Um, so I went ahead and finished uh, my turret one uh, as far as getting the primary painting and everything done on it. And I've started on turret two. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I have accomplished so far and we'll go through each uh, each gun you know as I build it. Here we go. Here is turret one uh, with our 14 inch guns installed and all painted up. We've got our uh, photo etch detail. There's not a lot just right here behind each of the gun. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what you call these like the bags that cover the barrels for the openings but the, there we have our ladder and a little bit of detail uh, right here. Most of the detail is on top of the turret. You can see the rails. Um, I don't know what this little arrangement is up on top there and then these cables that run around it. Uh, those according to the instructions on the Big Ed, tit, uh, Big Ed kit are this, this shape, this photo etch thing around the middle here is for turret one. And then there's a different shape uh, in the back for turret number four, which uh, is part of what makes them different. But I went ahead and assembled um, this whole thing, minus the guns, painted the turret, gunship, or uh, navy blue, then carefully masked everything off and painted the top uh, flat red. And then, of course, painted the barrels independently, and they required a little bit of work to get lined up as straight as possible. You can see the middle one's a little bit low, um, but, but no big deal. And then uh, get them parallel. That took a little bit of lining up to do. So 
Let's take a look at turret number two, which isn't assembled yet. So here's turret number two, not assembled yet. Uh, what I did is, this has the least amount of photo etch on it, detail on it. You've just got your rails at the top, uh, whatever this thing is. These are the details that go around the front of the guns. Sorry. Um, this goes on all three. And then you've got your ladders uh, on either side. And then there's this little detail goes on the front of each of these pieces, which um, mount right here, <clears throat> excuse me, on the side, like so. And because of this little bulge right on top, I've decided, sorry about bumping the camera, that I would leave them off. I'm going to paint this whole thing navy blue, mask around the edge, and then paint the top red. I'll paint these parts uh, navy blue separate and then glue them on after the fact. I think they'll make masking a lot easier. Uh, we've got our kit supplied aluminum barrels here. Uh, they do not weigh 140,000 pounds each, but they are heavy and they're nice and they paint up really well and they've got some nice detail. I don't think um, the Ed Big Egg kit came with the plugs that cover the barrels. Um, I don't think I'm going to install those. I think I'm going to leave them exposed. I think this ship's going to be kind of in a pseudo used um, but uh, active kind of status. Uh, it's a little bit of using my imagination taking some liberties because the ship didn't ever actually see this much action but I like to think of it that way so anyway we're gonna get this all painted up and put together it should look like the other one when we're done and then we'll move on to turret number three and four. Uh, four will look like this except it has a different photo etch piece on the top completely. In turret number three we have to cut out holes in the top on one side uh, for the uh, catapult that gets installed. And let's see if you can see this here. On all of them, there's a little hole right here and right here, a little indent. You got to drill that out so we can build and mount our uh, catapult launcher on the top here. So we'll get to that as we move on to the next turrets here. All right. Uh, it's been a, it's been a, there's been a big break here because I, I had the flu. Um, I still have it and I'm recovering, so I finally got back to being able to do something. Uh, this is turret number three with the photo etch on it. Um, a couple of things, you know, we got the items on the, the front, the little rings, and our ladders and everything uh, on the sides. Turned out nice. What I did differently though with this one is, I only put the railing right here, hopefully you can make that out, uh, on the um, right side of the turret because right here is where the catapult goes. And originally I had mentioned drilling holes for the kit supplied catapult in here, but uh, I have the Big Ed um, photo edge catapult. It doesn't have holes. So, let's bring that in the picture here. This is the this is the catapult. There is a lot of stuff going on here. This is the rack that holds the airplane. Uh, a couple of kit parts that you modify with photo etch. Um, a bunch of railing that goes around it. And underneath here we've got gazillion little pieces that had to go into place. Um, even had uh, these little pieces get put on. It was a whole big rigmarole construction kit to get this thing assembled. Uh, and the idea is it goes basically like this. Uh, it's essentially, let's see here, sits essentially like that on the kit. And so as a result, uh, there was no real reason to put the railing on this side because obviously you wouldn't see it. So uh, this was a real big deal. This took a lot of work to get done and it's not perfect. I had issues with it uh, warping a little bit side to side on me. Um, but you know, it's a huge improvement over the kit part. 
So, because I wanted to show you this uh, all prior to paint because essentially it gets put together uh, and this is all painted gray. Um, or I'm sorry, navy blue. There's no uh, there's no red top on this turret, which I don't know if I showed you at the end of the last video. I don't think so, actually. Uh, I got the red painted on top of turret number two, so it's all ready to go and get weathered. So uh, the next thing that we have to do, like I said, is. Uh, get this assembled and painted, and I'm going to paint. I'm going to go ahead and paint the um, catapult separate, and then get the uh, turret all done up, and then we'll finish up the barrels and everything and put it together. So that's turret number three. Uh, let's get it painted and assembled, and we'll show you that next. All right, here's with the paint. Nothing too special. Um, I did try and hit it with a couple of lighter misting coats just to give it a little texture, but anyway, uh, barrels are in, obviously. So the next uh, part is to go ahead and install the catapult up on top here, which I weathered a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and get that mounted on, and we'll have a finished third turret. There we go. I went ahead and got it installed. It's tacked into place. Um, we'll need to do a little paint touch up with the super glue, but it uh, worked out okay. Looks good. Uh, really contrasting to the other guns. Carriage, I probably would have, I followed the instructions, um, I probably would have preferred to have put it back here or launching this way, but the aircraft's going to be sitting to launch forward the way this is set up, so that's alright. It adds, it adds a lot to what's going on. Anyway, this is the most complicated uh, gun, and it's all set. We'll weather it and touch up some things. Um, and then I'll show it with the uh, fourth turret all installed while well, sitting on the uh, sitting on the ship. All right, let's press on and get the fourth one done. All right, and finally we have turret number four, which you can see has this unique um, photo etch piece on the top that's different from the rest. Got our ladder on. Got our little metal thing up on the top there that is really teeny tiny that I don't know what it is but I've had to put on all of them got our little bezels got our other ladder and then um, you see I left this section off right here uh, I don't know if there's like directional finders for both sides um, they're prepped and ready to go here with their little photo etch detail I paint them separately because I've discovered that I could paint this whole thing navy blue and it's actually not too hard. The only thing I got to work around is the ladder to mask off the top and get the red on. So uh, let's go ahead and shoot that up. Uh, I've already got the barrels taken care of. They're over there. We'll get this painted, uh, put together, and then uh, that'll wrap up this episode. Aw, guns. All right, so they're all painted up and put on here. Um, they're not installed permanently, I just went ahead and set them down, but they still need some weathering left. But here you go, here's number one, number two. And roll to the back here is number three with the catapult. We'll get some looks at that. And number four. Uh, number four, you can see we've got our fancy photo etch detail on the top that's different from number one. Uh, the catapult. I'll just spin this around here. Everything is the navy blue, and then I took some intermediate blue and just touched some light areas, did some dry brushing uh, to lighten things up. Did a little bit of rubber wheelie burns on the track. I'm assuming that's part of what would be going on there. 
Um, yeah, guns all had to be leveled as best as I could to get the barrels all straight and even with one another. And the red looks nice on the top. Sorry, we're getting some crummy camera work here, but uh, it looks good. I mean, this is a really big ship, but they turned out really nice. I'm glad I went and did the extra detail with the photo etch. It adds a lot. We're going to do a little bit more weathering. Um, this will look really cool once it's got the airplane on it. But uh, there it is. Those are the number one, two, three, and four turrets on our 1-200th Arizona. Sorry this video was so long in coming. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I've got to decide what we're going to work on next. Probably pick up a few more details. There's some little photo etch things I could do. You know, back in here. Some stairs and things like that. But, um... Otherwise, we'll be moving on to the superstructure here, and, and eventually, I got to get a, a base for this thing going. So, anyway, that's it for now, you guys. Take care.